Okay, joining me to talk all things fitness, health, and wellness is a very, very smart man indeed, Kieran Gilbert. He is now not only the political expert for Sky News, he's also the rugby host for Fox Sports. How are you, mate? Thanks, mate. Good to be here. Mate, change of politics for you, literally. It's amazing. It's such a nice breath of fresh air. I've done 17 years politics. So Steve Crawley phoned me from Fox Sports and said, what do you think about hosting the Rugby World Cup? I jumped at it. Yeah, yeah. So you've obviously got a, a long history of sport. Tell us about that. A lot of people just see you as, you know, Mr. Politics, but tell us about your sporting background. Yeah, so I've grown up playing sport, love sport, um, was pretty good cricketer, but did my shoulder early on. And it's interesting, I've, I've always maintained a passionate interest in sport, yeah, yeah. but in terms of fitness, when I got injured in my late teens, early 20s, a physio said to me, get into yoga. Yeah. And ever since, I've, you know, I've 20 years plus, that's 20 what I've years been of doing. yoga, wow. I love it, yeah. So you were in your yoga before it was even trendy, so. Yeah, sort of, yeah, but I've never been trendy, so <laughs> it fits. Is there any style of yoga that you practice in particular? Yeah, I like power yoga, which yeah, is yeah. heated. Brian Batiste. Yeah, and heated about 30 plus degrees. I also like Bikram yeah. from time to time, yeah. which is upwards of 40 degrees. Yeah, yeah. But um, Bikram's quite nice as well. It feels like a grease and oil change yeah, when, yeah. when you go in there and have yeah, a stretch. Yeah. Is there any benefit that the average punter might experience from doing yoga that you suggest? Well, you know, the thing that got me into it was injury prevention, yeah, yeah. just from the physio giving me the tip, but I just loved it from yeah. the get-go. It's also um, very relaxing, you know. Yeah. You're focusing just on breathing, and and that's not bad for an hour. Yeah. You know? If you can just focus on your breath for an hour, it's quite, quite almost like a meditation. Yeah, well, let's take a deeper dive there. Breathing is something that we do, I think, on average 21,000 times a day, mm. yet most of us don't know how to breathe properly. What, what's your tip there? Well, you know, the other thing is, um, I think, you know, just pulling yourself away from life for 30 yep. minutes is, is good just to sit there. And, yep. and uh, I know it's sort of the rage, again, like yoga, yoga. But meditation is uh, something that I think is, it certainly helps me just yeah. to quieten down. Yep. And just, you know, 20 minutes out of, out of work, away from the computer, the phone. And basically, you just breathe. I mean, it sounds yeah. boring, but actually, you get addicted to it. Yeah, because yeah. when you get that time to yourself, um, it helps, I guess, give you a bit of gratitude yep. for what you've got. And yeah, yeah. Clarity on thinking and different things. Yeah, yeah. and it's a, a practice I do every day, an attitude of gratitude. Yeah. You find that's empowering for you as well? I absolutely do, yeah. I, I use a couple of um, uh, apps, Headspace. Yeah. And Headspace is really good and calm. Yep. And they're guided meditations. Yep. And I really like both of those. They yep. suit me. You don't have to think about how you meditate. They just tell you. It's not that expensive, you know. It's quite inexpensive to do those things. Yeah, but yeah. I find it just helps me, yeah, also more be more effective at work or whatever else because yeah. you're not worried about, you know. You can calm the mind down. Can calm the mind. So there's a tip for somebody out there that's struggling to get started to become more relaxed and more mm. focused. Try an app. Yeah, I think they're really good because, you know, we're always on the phones yep. and it's very easy just to pull to the side of the road or, you know, throw 10 minutes on and yep. makes a big difference. So yeah. it's, it's something I fell into really through getting into the yoga in the first place. But they're two things that are a big part of my life now. And, yeah. and I, as you said, you do it every day. I try and do it every day. If I miss one, um, it, it's rare. Well, mate, you've recently dropped about five kilos. What's been the secret? Sleeping more. You know, up until recently, I was getting up at 4 a.m. to do breakfast news. Yeah. My shift changed. I'm up at 7 a.m., three hours more sleep, sleeping about eight hours a night, and within four months, I'd lost five kilos. Yeah, and what do you put that down to from the sleep element? Do you think it's the fact that your body, you're not eating as much, or do you think you're just recovering more? Or? Well, I'm, I'm not sure, but I'm doing exactly the same amount of exercise, yeah. eating similar foods. I haven't really changed my lifestyle, except three hours more a night sleep and yeah. it, I just feel so much more energetic but it's also nice to see the kilos dropping. Yeah, yeah. well yeah. I always say to people you know the best way to lose weight is by doing nothing just sleeping mm. and it's counterintuitive because people think they have to work harder to lose weight but you've just proven sleep is the key. Maybe it's the metabolism working yeah. for those extra hours but feeling more energetic but as you say it sleep crucial crucial for me. And do you fall asleep easy or have you got any hacks that you abide by to get yourself to sleep at night? I fall asleep pretty easy. Yeah, yeah. I've been pretty lucky with that. And I guess, you know, chasing your six-year-old and four-year-old girls, they keep me busy too. So, yeah, I never struggle to get to sleep. <laughs> well, speaking of kids, mate, any tips for us budding dads? I've got a three-year-old and a four-year-old. Little girls as well. What's your tip for me? Oh, I think the tip is go easy on yourself. Yeah. I mean, we're none, of us are, we're none of us are perfect. Yeah, like, yeah. We can snap from time to time. I think everyone does. But it's yeah. just to try and show, you know, show up, be there. 
and and you know show your love for them, and that's yeah. all you can do, isn't that's it? That's, that's what I try and do. What you're trying to do. You yeah. never, I'm never perfect, but uh, you know it's good to just be there and. Um, and if you you know stumble or you raise your voice or something, just realise that that's something that everyone does from time yeah, to time. Yeah, great advice. Do you try to teach uh, mindfulness to your kids and gratitude as well? Is that something you're trying the to? Six teach year old is starting to just so you know if they get worked up, just say to breathe and yep. Just uh, but the good thing is the schools do it. Yeah, they, they do some breathing and a bit of yoga to start the day. Yeah, great. I think it's fantastic. It's so awesome. In year one, I think it's a really good thing that some of the teachers, the younger ones particularly, are starting to get into. Yeah. So. I'm all for that. Fantastic. And finally, eating on the run. You're always on the run, travelling mm. and whatnot for work. You got any tips out there for people with their diet? Yeah. Look, to be honest, I, re I rely a lot on my wife for that. Yeah. Uh, she's uh, she's fantastic. You know, um, it, she's a great cook, very healthy, and thanks to her, my eating's improved dramatically since yeah. I've known her the last ten years. I wasn't really a great strength of mine. Yeah. yeah. So. My better half is better in many ways. <laughs> do you try to prepare meals when you go on the road or do you take some packed lunches or snacks with you? Any oh, hacks? Well, I guess just fruit. You know? Yeah, I, fruit. I, yeah. I know some people um, think that it's not no, great. No, it's good for you. I think it's good for energy. Yeah, and, yeah. You know, it's easy too. So nature's dessert, a bit of fruit. That's it. Suits me. Well, thank you so much, mate. Absolute pleasure. Thank Thanks, you. Adam. Cheers, mate.